Hey guys, it's Monica. I am going to do a sort of a vlog, maybe, but I'm going to talk about some makeup products that I, that I bought, something that was sent to me, which I really like. I went on a couple of hauls, Ulta, Sephora, yeah, yeah, I wasn't a good girl this week, <laughs> so if you're interested, stay tuned. try to do is do a a little bit of a I don't know this and that type of a video because this is our anniversary week Jay and I celebrating our 30th year together and uh, I'm so excited can't believe we made 30 can't I can't believe it I can't believe the time went by so quick I mean I remember when we met and I remember our wedding and you know and our honeymoon and all the highlights that we've had along the way and the low lights too you know what I mean it hasn't always been picture perfect but 30 years so yeah he made reservations for Saturday night we're gonna go out to dinner early dinner at a place that I absolutely love so I can't wait but I mean I also I've been really thinking about diet I've been really trying to get back on track my my low carb I really, really want to lose some weight. I've really had a year of bad weight gain. So, so I got so these uh, these chips sent to me that I want to review, and I had to hide the last bag because Jay's just been scoffing them up. So I'm going to talk about that maybe a little bit later in the video, but I'm going to share a couple of things that I bought. I went in a couple of hauls, and I actually got sent something. So the one thing that I want to mention right now is I got sent this. Uh, curling flat iron from Irresistible Me. Now, I have received a flat iron from them before, and it was it was really nice. It was a black one, a little bit heavier than this one. This is a red one. They When they said to me, do you want to look at our new flat iron, I said, well, I, I already have one that I really like. She goes, well, this has been redesigned, and it sure has. So what I really like about this is you've got the temperature gauge right there in big, big, big so you can see it so you can adjust the temperature and then it has this like thin little um you know where you can stick your thumb so your thumb doesn't go off the barrel but anyway so i've been using this pretty well all week and it's it's done a great job it's also really good for if you have hair extensions or hair pieces that are human hair or even you know heat defiant hair it's really good on straightening that so i have been really liking this twist and twirls that's pretty pretty little red color and yeah you know these are not like when I first looked at it the original one I have the original one here actually it's black looks a little bit different but when I first and there's no there was no place to put your thumb in this one so I think the redesign is really much better so when I first looked at them I thought they're probably real expensive, but you know what, they really aren't. Because the other day I was in Walmart and I was looking at a couple of hair things. And a lot of their curling irons and things of that nature were like $30, $35. And a lot of them didn't have any, you couldn't see the heat. There was not, it was not easy to adjust. So I think this is a great buy. And I'm really pleased with it. I've used it. It's very light, which I like a lot. So I'll give you more of an in-depth look at that. But I did want to mention that because that was sent to me. And I, I just have been using it and really liking it. And I'm going to try to do a get ready with me. But I totally stink at those things. But I'm going to try. But I had picked up this Smashbox contour. I struggle with contours because... A lot of times the contour will turn orange and muddy looking on me. So I want something that was more of a cooler color. Now you're looking at me at the end of the day. You know, it's nighttime. I've been going all day. I really didn't do much of anything except touch up my lipstick. But this contour I really like and I love the fact that it has this picture perfect brush. The brush is really, really, you know, the right angle and everything. So I've been doing the contour, and I've been just kind of playing with it. And um, God knows what I'm doing now. But, I I mean, I think it's really nice. I've touched the highlight a little bit, but not very much. 
just a little bit. So I purchased that at Ulta. I did an Ulta haul and a couple of things, other things at Ulta. And then I went nuts in Sephora. So I did, you know, I, I did the, um, I think I already shared a lot of this on Instagram, but the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. This is what I want to try to do and get ready with me. We'll see if I can actually pull it off. But this, I think, is really nice. I love these colors. And the amazing thing, I've been wearing these and using these. These colors, they blend really nice. They go on really nice. I'm like super shocked. I know this is expensive. And I can't believe I bought it. But I did. And so some people are going to say, ah, you know, this time of, you know, how can you be thinking about shopping makeup? Well, I think we have to do what makes us feel good. Makeup feel, makes me feel good. I like wearing makeup. I like playing with makeup. I And as long as I can afford to buy something or I have an opportunity if something is sent to me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to latch on to it because it makes me happy. So I bought this. And if I don't lose my nerve, I will do a get ready with me <laughs> using this. Don't hold your breath. It may never see the light of day. But I'm really impressed with this palette. I also bought another palette, which is the Huda Obsession um, Purple Haze. <laughs> Just reminds me of Jimi Hendrix, you know, Purple Haze. So I got that and um, some lip glosses that I'm really excited about. I don't know if I'll add them on to the end of this, but I just wanted to, you know, really just kind of like say, hey, 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 howdy, howdy, howdy. This is kind of a vlog thing. I'm really kind of excited about the week, you know, 30 years. Granted, I know many people have married a lot longer than that, but for me, 30 years is pretty, <laughs> pretty big. So I'm really excited about that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to piece together whatever happens the rest of the week. When we go out, I'm going to piece it all together. And then at one point, I'm going to talk to you about those uh, keto chips that I got. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I really like them. <laughs> yeah, what, I honey? Do. What? What are we doing, honey? Huh? Eh. <laughs> you are such an old dude. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> We're going out for our wedding anniversary dinner. Number 3-0. 30 years. Yeah, unbelievable. Can you believe it? No. I deserve a medal. Yeah, I do. <laughs> you deserve a medal, too. Yeah, I think so. But I think we both, I think, you know, we both compliment each other to a certain degree. Yeah. I love you. I love you, too. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Always ruins my lipstick. So we're on our way to our anniversary dinner. Jay's listening to this news report about Tom Brady, you know, our New England Patriots' most famous quarterback. Lover. We all loved him, right? We all loved Tom Brady. I mean, he was sure. like an amazing football player. Well, he kind of like sniffed the money game and he went to Tampa, Florida, right? Yeah, I, I think he went there because Patriots felt he was past his prime and... I didn't think he was past his prime. Oh, well, he's 43 years old. <laughs> Does that make me a dirty old woman? Yes, <laughs> I'm talking about that. Yeah, and so what happened is the quarter, the um, the coach from the, from the Tampa, Florida team, yeah, yeah. criticized his performance in the in the press. In the press, you know, which is a no no. It is a no no, even for a manager in real estate. <laughs> Just we don't we know that we do not do that. So, but anyways, Jay and I are on our way to it. We're having like an early dinner. Yeah, but by the time we sit and have a cocktail or an two. appetizer, you know. With three cocktails. Uh, I don't know about two or three, but. Yeah, but anyways, we're, we're, we're on our way. After buying picture frames and coals and waiting in line for 15 minutes, because they didn't have any help, even though it seemed like an hour. We took a little detour. We came over here to Salisbury Beach, where we've gone camping in the past, but... It's in the state of Massachusetts, and due to COVID this year, our reservations were canceled. So Jay took me into the park and drove all along. Right, baby? Yeah. Yeah. While we're waiting to go to the restaurant, we're going to the Sea Glass, which is an oceanfront restaurant that I really like. So I 
I have mussels. Jay has one of those oysters, right? Yeah. Celebrating our 30th here. 30th us. Isn't it perfect? Just really beautiful. You see the backsplash of sun setting. Sun setting's over in the west. Of course, this is Salisbury Beach. And it's a pretty. Uh, I think it's a Bob Marley uh, tribute. Is it a Bob Marley tribute show? What is it, a Bob Marley tribute show? No, it's Bob Marley. It's Bob Marley himself? Yeah. Is he alive? Bob Marley's a comedian. Oh, the comedian. <laughs> I was thinking the reggae singer. <laughs> Happy 30th, babe. So, it's our 30th. Well, it was our 30th. We went out to dinner and we celebrated. We did. <laughs> and we talked about where we would want to spend our golden years. Which are upon us. <laughs> Almost. But mostly, I think, the funny thing was that couple next to us saying, can you give us the secret for 30 years? And we kind of looked dumbfounded. What secret? <laughs> they looked as old as us. <laughs> We're like, uh, what can we tell them? But they've only been together a year, I think. Is that what you said? It's either a year or 29. I don't know. I, don't I thought it was a year. No, I wished it was her birthday, so I wished her a happy 29th. <laughs> I wish she wasn't 29. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> so, I can't tell you how many times we've gone camping here and walked the beach, but COVID shut us off this year. We had, a, we had what, 10 days here in June that we had to not come because Massachusetts and COVID canceled us. Isn't it beautiful here, though? Oh, look at the sliver of moon. Jay's pointing to the moon up there. A sliver. A sliver. A sliver counts. Sliver! Sliver, sliver! Sliver! So when you can't go camping, you just... Yeah, you just set up your campfire. Look at that. So, 63 degrees here in our yard in Hampstead. Yeah. So hey guys, it's been a crazy, crazy week. I thought I would do a little bit more vlogging, but I really did. I'm going to share my birthday present with you and I'm going to share mm, a little bit of my thoughts on diet. So I think I mentioned early on or in one of my other videos that I really want to lose some weight that this past year has just been really horrific as far as the weight goes. And I just got totally derailed. I can make all the excuses in the world. I think my excuses are valid, but um, yeah, some people find comfort in food. Some people find comfort in other things, and I find comfort in food, unfortunately. So anyways, I've recommitted to low carb. I'm not going to do isogenics. I stopped doing that several months ago. I think in the beginning of the COVID phases, I stopped doing it, mainly because I was really concerned about the budget paying for it and all that stuff and I was really worried that because I was spending a lot of money and I'm thinking if I'm spending all this money just on what I'm eating you know I kind of felt kind of guilty it's like going out on my own for dinner but I know this sounds kind of weird anyway so I can't go back to keto um, keto I 100% believe contribute to me for some of my hair thinning and it, while it, I can't blame it all on that I do believe it was a big factor in that so I am recommitting to a low carb lifestyle. That said, you guys know that we use, we have, we do the built bars. They are just like so, they're such a great snack. They're such a great boost throughout the day. They're low carb. They taste good. I love them. I wanted to show you some of them here, but uh, Jay has, yeah, he threw out all the wrappers and he threw out the box and he ate them all. So I have more on order. But anyways, I love my Built Bars and I think that they really help get me through those kind of lulls, those low points. But the other thing that I got, which really totally cracked me up, 
was uh, Quavos. And this is, I mean, I really think this is pretty cool because these are sort of keto-friendly crackers or chips or however you want to call them. But anyways, they sent me a whole box. Probably, gosh, I don't even know. I put them away because I wanted to open them up so I could do a review. I forgot about them. Jay found them. Jay opened them up. He ate them all. I yelled at him on the phone. I said, save me a wrapper. He saved me a wrapper. I went and took this one and hid it. So now I'll be able to give this to him so he can eat it. He loves these. They have something like four net carbs in most of them. I mean, you can read the ingredients list or the calorie and all that carbohydrate count. They're pretty low carb. They're definitely keto friendly. So the, and they taste surprisingly good. And I, the dill pickle. Oh la la, I really like that. So yeah, they reached out and offered to send these and I said, sure, why not? And I'm really glad I did because I really like them and I will order them. I will order them. I think they, I think you can get them right on Amazon. I'll link all the information below, but they really taste, they taste really good. If you miss the crunch factor and you want something that tastes super good while you're on keto or low carb, I highly recommend them. So I would check them out at least. The other thing is when we went out to dinner, my birthday, and I showed all those clips earlier, I got three pairs of earrings. One is the earrings I have on. I don't know if you can see them. They're kind of like crystal. They're kind of blue and glittery, and uh, I just really like them. I think they're so cute. The others are these, and of course, they're blue too, because they kind of remind me of the ocean, you know, and I do love that. So they're blue, and there's sort of like a freshwater pearl blue, and then there's a little blue clear crystal stone. They're small. They're not like big, big earrings. I wish they were a little bit bigger, but I absolutely love them. And the third pair that I got, freshwater pearl with sort of like a, a starfish on it. Now, if the starfish had little diamonds, I think it would have really been like, oh yeah because it matches many of you you comment on the necklace I always wear. This was a necklace that was given to me. Little tiny diamonds, um, a white gold chain. I have to take it off and clean it because I know it looks horrible, but I wear it day in and day out. It was given to me by my mother, and I very rarely take it off. So, so but these earrings, I know they're hard to see, but they're a little longer, and I thought they were so, so pretty. Aren't they pretty? I love them. So anyways, that was that was my birthday present. Three pairs of earrings. Basically, Jay said, get something you'd like, honey. So, of course, we were at that gift shop. So I took advantage of it. But I have I have gone on a little bit of a, a shopping spree this week. I talked about what I bought in Sephora. I'll tell you, the more I use that Natasha Denona palette, the more I love it. And the Huda, the one that I have... Um, is the Huda Beauty Obsession Purple Haze. I haven't dug into it yet, but I, I don't know. I, something about the, the colors. And then I have a craving for a, a Dior palette that I saw, I think it was Nisha had reviewed. It was so pretty. Of course, she is beautiful and she does a great job with her eyes, but I do like her eye looks a lot. And that was just so, so pretty. So. I, 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 I haven't got that in a, in a basket at all. I haven't, you know, pulled the trigger on that. But I, I am very <laughs> tempted. And um, I'm going to do a, a turn for you because last time I wore this wig, uh, this is this is sort of a, hmm, I don't know if you, you know, it's kind of like a blunt edge cut, which is probably not the best age appropriate look. But I'm going to turn anyways. Now you guys have seen this. I've worn this wig a couple of times. So this is the Raquel Welch Real Deal. I think I've reviewed it. Gosh, I can't remember. I think I have. But um, I love the fibers on, on these wigs. And so, you know, this may not necessarily be age appropriate, whatever age appropriate is, because of the blunt edges, I've been told. But tough cookies. Uh, I actually like this a lot. So this is Real Deal, Raquel Welch in Shade of Cappuccino. And I bought this hmm, beginning, was it the beginning of the summer? 
middle of the summer, something like that. I had, this is one of the wigs I brought with me when I went to Bar Harbor, and I actually filmed it out on the rocks, and the wind was blowing, and I think one of you mentioned it looked like my hair was wet. Uh, but the wind was blowing and all that stuff, but my hair was not wet, and even if my hair did get wet, when you have a wig on, not bad. So anyways, yeah. This is Real Deal Raquel Welch Shade Cappuccino. I like it. So, yeah. I know many of you probably don't want to hear about the hauls, but I'm going to show you a couple of things in my next video that I record. I just don't know when it's going to go live. But I don't, also don't know when this vlog is going to go live. They don't do well, and I really didn't have a whole lot to share. But, so, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you. Please thumbs up the video. Please leave me a comment. And if you haven't, please subscribe. That would help me out so, so very much. Thank you, guys.